Holy shit, people. This is a new segment or new type of vlog. I call this the break time diaries, I guess. I don't know. Fuck, just go with it. Freaking crazy. Came in today to a bunch of emails. A whole bunch of fucking people just jumped ship. Left the company and went elsewhere. Some of them went over to the ONTC. Some of them found jobs out of the city and fucked off. And holy shit. Well, I just had a call there from a customer who's been waiting a while to get his shit fixed. I checked the ticket and uh, it's assigned to a technician who sent off his I'm done for him. You know, sent off his fucking resignation form. So I call it in to find out who we can get on it. We got no fucking techs. We have no fucking field techs. Between people on vacation and people fucking walking out. Holy shit. How can we run a fucking company if we have no field dicks to fix the shit in the field? This is fucked. Just fucked. I think our new CEO needs to step up and maybe fucking grab some dicks from his company there and bring them over to our company so our company can get her shit fixed. Because this is fucked. Just stupid. But it's just been one of those days. <laughs> Between being busy as fuck and having uh, co-workers who are lazy as fuck and half the company quit as fuck. So it's making things really interesting. Really fucking interesting. You know, you get beaked off at a customer because he's been waiting three weeks for his fucking service. But you can't have his service because we got nobody to fix his service so it's not a good day it's not good we need backup we got no one to radio anyway talk to you guys on lunch fuck it Alrighty, well it's lunch time but i'm not at work anymore down here at the lcbo just picking up some supplies holy shit picking up some supplies on a tuesday somebody has a problem get the fuck back to work all right you guys we're back at work and it's foggier and a motherfucker in the car right now like you can tell but i was a nice enough co-worker to go out and buy my co-workers some motherfucking coffee some horny yeah, we got some Hortons for the boys. So we're gonna rock that probably tonight and uh, hopefully it'll make the rest of this fucking shift go by fast because son of a bitch, boring much, but uh, it is what it is. So we're gonna go out and drink some coffee and get this shift over with and then I'm gonna go home tonight and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was thinking about jumping on Grand Theft Auto online and just seeing what the fuck's going on because there's a couple patches that I haven't downloaded and installed yet and I probably need to do that. And oh my God, is it ever vaping in here, eh? Sweet Jesus, but I bet you. Oh no, the car's turned off. Nah. But uh, if I crank on the fucking protifrost there, she fires all the dirt out of the window. She really cleans up this car pretty quick. But uh, I like vaping. Look, you can tell. Yeah. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Well, boys, it's 11 o'clock and you can barely see me because it's fucking vapier than the son of a her in here. I'll just uh, crank a window open here and let some of that air out. Oh, I'm so sorry for all the vaporness, people. But it is what it is because I like to vape sometimes. Uh, that and I'm loving my new juice. But uh, it's been a, so far a pretty decent night. Fuck, man. Freaking, it's cold out. It's like minus one right now and uh, it's 11 o'clock. Did I already mention that? Can't remember. But uh, so far tonight's been uh, pretty busy, pretty stupid. And uh, yep, it's almost over. Got an hour left. So right on. Then we'll go home, deal with the dog, and um, see what the frig is going on on YouTube's and uh, go from there. I really want to play some video games tonight, but I got a lot of running around to do tomorrow. So that should be fun. So that's the bottom plan there. We'll figure shit out and get her done tomorrow. But anyway, I got to go. Got to get back in there. Figured I'd do a quick update because all four radio stations in North Bay are all showing or playing commercials, which fucking sucks. Anyway, talk to you guys in a bit. Peace freak out. Oh, friggin' rights, people. Once I get this camera leveled, life will be good. Ah, fuck, good enough. Wow, the car didn't turn off. That's impressive. Didn't I put the keys in? There we go. I wanted to take the car out of gear and she wouldn't fucking come out of gear. Couldn't figure out why. But, uh, WTBM123, if you're still subbed to me, thanks, bud. And, um, just want to say that a friend of mine sent me a video of yours that you just posted today, being the 21st of October, about a G6, uh, because you have a 2007 G6, or at least that's what you're working on. I assume it's yours. Maybe it's not. I don't fucking know. But, uh, you had a problem with, uh, the same tuck, 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 tuck sound that I have in the front end, and you fix a sway bar link, and you made it look super fucking easy. So I think I'm going to start working on my jack one of these days, and get some ATF into it, and get her to be a jack again and uh i'm gonna have to crank this fucker up and get underneath her and see if i can find that link and maybe fix it if that's the case but then again i've also been thinking about saying fuck it and taking it up to rex's mechanic who's actually freaking awesome and works for pests well not for real he doesn't charge much i like that kind i like that kind so got this guy here to uh completely give the g6 a one over because you know what I own this car, I don't pay on it. Why the fuck not just keep it, you know? Yeah, it's a whore and a half to bring mini bikes places and stuff, but 
Ah, oh, frigate. I don't need to bring mini bikes places and stuff. Not yet. See, my objective is, is once I get laid off, is to make, basically, I gotta, I gotta scrounge. I gotta go into, like, survivalist mode, I guess you would call it, or whatever, and uh, totally not spend any money unless I fucking have to and go from there, you know? But, um, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking about keeping the car and just getting her all fixed up so that she's awesomer than Frig, and then we'd be good to go. And something I really need to do that uh, I haven't done yet because I had a little problem is the resistor pack for this thing so that you can have multiple uh, speeds on your, uh, your fan. Right now I have two options, off and balls to the walls. Those are the only two options I have. So I go on eBay, right? I'm looking up the parts and I type in 2005 Pontiac G6 GT uh, fan blower motor resistor pack. I think, I can't remember what I typed in, but anyway, I found the parts, except for one problem. I found two different fucking blower motors, like two different things, like, and they're both for the G6. They're both compatible, but their ends where it plugs in is completely different. The one has a notch on the left. The other one has a notch in the middle. I don't know what's in my car. So I would do the repair myself, but I can't remember what the fuck I bought back in 2009 to do it, or 2008. I can't remember how long I've had this car. I think it was 2009 when I got it. But uh, I need to get that fixed because the reason why my windshield is cracked, and I never replaced that because it's zero fucks given, but um, the reason why the windshield's cracked is because I one day woke up, it was minus 35 out, I fired up the car from the bedroom, and when I got out to where the heat wasn't on, I pinned the heat. The heat was already up to 95C. And uh, minus 35 windshield getting blasted with 90C, that's quite a change. And snap a crack and pop, bye bye window. If I would have had it on moderately and uh, on heat on the window, this would never have happened. But it did happen, so what can you do? Not a big deal. One of these decades, I'll fucking throw a new windshield onto her. Just right now, I got zero fucks to give about that. I got other things I gotta deal with first. That's right, people. I'm actually a normal human being with bills and fucking shit, so. That's what I find funny is, uh, I don't know, maybe, you know, I'm on Facebook and I'm chatting with people and somebody's like totally getting starstruck because they're talking to me on Facebook and it's like, why? I'm just a regular fucking guy. And I'm not like Danny DeVito or Bob Beeler or any of them assholes, you know, I'm just a regular fucking guy talking to a camera like an idiot. And uh, it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's weird. I, I just... Uh, even if I did make it big and things did happen for me, I would still never consider myself a celebrity. I just wouldn't because I'm just some friggin' hick from the north. Not really a hick, but pretty damn close. From the north who likes to talk to cameras. What's the big deal, right? Not a big deal. Some people like to talk to their, their computers and talk to their iPads and shit. I just happen to talk to my cameras. Just so happens I fire that shit up on YouTube, you know? I'd never consider myself a celebrity. Never. Not in a million years. I don't like the Hollywood life. All the nonsense and bullshit those fucking celebrities go through. Like the Hollywood celebrity types. I, I couldn't deal with that bullshit. I just like making movies and you guys commenting on the movies and liking the movies and giving me pointers on things I'm fucking up at and all that shit. You know, I like that kind of stuff. I don't know, a major motion picture and having people fucking drooling over you and they don't even know you. That's that's pretty dick. That's pretty dick. Like, what I'm talking about is, like, actors and stuff like that. Like, my friend got to meet the, uh, the, the cast from Walking Dead. And, uh, when she met the guy who plays Daryl, apparently he's a real fucking prick. <laughs> he's a kind of an ass. So, uh... You know, you see these people on the show and you think, oh, fuck, these guys are awesome. And you meet them in person and they're complete douchebags. Well, for fuck's sake, it's the way she goes, right? So, I don't know. I try to act about as original, or not original, but uh, like act like me as much as possible in the videos. Like how I am in real life is how I come across in the videos. I don't try to fake anything. I don't try to pretend I'm any different. You know? Some people like to make a persona for YouTube to protect their, their identity and stuff, but I don't know. I just, I'm me. This is my life. My house is a fucking sty. It's a pig house. It's a shack, whatever. I work a job, just like everybody else out there, you know, working for a living. Come home, deal with life nonsense. It just so happens I whore my life out and fire it up on YouTube, hey? Fuck, look at me go.
Oh, I don't know. I can never be Hollywood. Couldn't deal with it. Fuck that. I like being fucking simple. Being holy shit, what's going on here? Fucking evasion maneuvers. Ah! Oh, like a boss. Did you guys see that? Like a fucking boss. I made it smooth with my awesomeness. But anyway, ah, I'm a dick. Well, we're almost home, people. So once we get home, we'll uh, go let the dog out and go from there. So let's fucking hammer down. I know somebody who thinks he's Hollywood. Hey, Oreo. You think you're fucking Hollywood, don't you? You little prick. He's a Hollywood puppy puppy. He's gonna go for a shit. I'm gonna stay out here with him, too, and make sure he goes for a shit so he doesn't go take a big dump on my carpet again, that fucking dog. Oh, yeah, I forgot I bought supplies. Liquor and whores. Well, I didn't buy whores, but I bought some fucking liquor. That's for sure. Better grab that. She's so small, she can pull it off. Look, she's sitting right on the back of the fucking dryer. Felix used to try that, and he would, like... Taco over the edge. It was hilarious. What? You want to fucking sniff it? So I thought of something fun I can do. It's cheap because I already have the stuff. I'm going to learn how to play guitar. You know, I got two guitars. I got an electric and acoustic and I used to be okay at them. Like, I'm not pro. I can't really fucking rock out like, you know, James Hetfield or anything, but, uh, you know, not too bad. I could play a couple chords and strum a couple shit, but I think I'm going to get back into it. You know, it's free. It doesn't cost any money. It's awesome. Why not? Oh fuck, I picked up some party favors, eh, for the weekend. Oh my goodness. Got some dirty Bacardi rum, some fucking tequila, and a six pack of beer. Three of these are for tonight. <laughs> Gonna get wasted. Not really. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Nice coffee? Oh, you're just jumping around like an idiot. What are you doing, kitten? Scammers. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? We're, 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 okay, I'm fine. So I had a little problem with the Galaxy S4 today, sure enough. The main problem with the S4 was it was constantly, well, I went and did an update. I was on 4.2 and I think I'm on 4.4.2 now, but I was on 4.2 of uh, whatever the fuck it was, Android. And uh, the coworker's like, oh dude, what, what OS are you running on your phone? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm just running whatever OS, like whatever it's running, it's working fine, it's fine. He's like, oh, you should update to KitKat, which is 4.4. He's like, yeah, it's a whole new ball game and it makes the, the phone run so much better. I was like, okay, I'll give her a go. So I'll share shit. I install friggin' OS 4.4.2. And what happens? I'll tell you what happens. Fucking phone reboots. Comes back and says, there's an update waiting. Would you like to install the update? I say yes. So it does the whole update. The bar goes across. It goes now rebooting device or reboots the device. Same thing. It sat there and did that like six fucking times. Till finally I had enough and I did the, um, you press and hold the power button, the home button, and the volume up button, and it puts her into reset mode. Then you got this tiny little fucking menu that's like a whore and a half to see, and then I had to like wipe the phone and reload the phone. Well, thank God all my contacts are stored on the SIM card. Oh, that would have sucked to lose all that. So I got every contact in there from fuck back when I had the iPhone 3GS. Like, I got all my contacts, but they're all on the SIM card, so life is good. But I got it running with 4.4.2, so... Fucking right on. Don't know what I got for features that are new. Probably gonna have to research that. So far the only thing different I see is the icon for the flashlight turn changed. Instead of being a great big friggin' tile that says I'm a flashlight, now it's this tiny little dot that has a picture of a flashlight on it. That's not a fucking upgrade. That's stupid. But anyway people, I think I'm gonna head upstairs, watch Pug One's videos for today and uh, probably go to bed because I got a lot of running around to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna go upstairs, watch some fucking Pug One and carry on. Where's that beer? Err, uh, beer. But uh, anyway, people, thanks for watching my video today. I know the past couple of videos have been kind of shit. I just don't know what to do right now. Like, fuck, I don't know where to, where to carry on with here. Got most of my projects done and some of the projects I want to do, I can't do because I don't know what part to buy. And yeah, yeah, this is what I was saying. Like, I might not be able to vlog every day because I don't want to just drop shit videos for you guys. I want to drop quality videos and between working eight hours a day and dealing with life and all that nonsense, mind you, this channel is about my life. Um, it just makes it kind of difficult and stuff, but I'm gonna keep on banging them out. Hopefully they'll, uh, you guys will watch them and be interested in them and shit and everything will be good. Speaking of shit, Scampers is totally drilling a fucking loaf into the ground. But anyway, people, thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, like button, questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Sorry for the boredom, and thanks for watching. And keep on blogging.